You are realizing that you are indeed beings of love, created in love. December 29, 2014, by John Smallman. The new year, 2015, is nearly upon you, and I can assure you that it has some wonderful surprises in store for you. Yes, I am being optimistic and upbeat because your task is to keep your spirits high so that you remain in the fast lane towards home, and one of my tasks is to assist and encourage you. But that does not mean that I am misleading you. I would never do that. However, many of you are feeling disappointed and let down because it seems to you that the event, for which you are all waiting so enthusiastically, has at best been delayed and at worst is a delusion that you bought into because the world situation appears so grim, and because you desperately wanted and needed something uplifting and inspiring to cling to. Well the event, your awakening into your natural and fully conscious state, is more real than anything you have ever experienced within the illusory environment that seems to hold you unwillingly in its clutches. Truly you are not held unwillingly, you are just afraid to let go of the illusion to which you are clinging so firmly and consign yourselves into the loving arms of your father, arms that he patiently holds open awaiting your acceptance of them. You built the illusion, collectively of course, and you will demolish it. But its demolition will not be violent, there will be a very gentle but rapid melting away or dispersal of it as you collectively awaken into reality. As you look around you now and see all the violence and suffering that so many are experiencing, it is hard for you to conceive of such a dramatic change of scene, but humanity has made enormous strides on its path home to love, and has made the irreversible choice to awaken. The tipping point, at which your collective embrace of love outweighs your collective hold on fear, totally dissolving it, is the moment for which you have all been waiting. It is your move from the nightmare which seems to enfold you all either as participators, willing and unwilling, or as unhappy observers, into an environment of harmonious and loving cooperation where you will work together, with those in other realms who are on standby ready to assist you to heal yourselves, and the planet when the tipping point is reached. You can have no idea of the immense variety of technologies that those from other realms will bring with them to assist you in returning Gaia to the state of perfect health that is her natural state. Over the eons, as humanity's many and wide-ranging forms of civilization have engaged in unwise industrialization, enormous damage has been wreaked upon her and is still ongoing today. The technologies that humanity has been using recently to mine her for resources you consider essential or valuable are not in fact clever, efficient, modern, and safe, as large-scale industrial businesses would attempt to persuade you, but just the opposite. Your alternate media has been doing an excellent job in uncovering and bringing to your attention the vast scale of damage that international industrial conglomerates have wrought upon Gaia in the last few decades, and much pressure in the way of public awareness and opinion is forcing them to reassess their operations and actually take the first essential steps towards reversing the damage that they have caused. They are resisting and dissembling, but the truth about their pernicious activities has been revealed and they have no option but to alter their attitudes and behaviors to align with the loving attitudes of the vast majority who want humanity and Gaia healed. It is that change of heart, of attitudes, that is accelerating your progress along your path to awakening. You are realizing that you are indeed beings of love, created in love, and you are therefore responding lovingly to resolve issues that have been troubling humanity for eons and which, until now, had seemed insurmountable and insoluble. Needless to say they are not. It is just that humanity has been split into many different factions, familial, political, business, national, cultural, and religious, with different and conflicting ego agendas that have prevented you from coming together to address and resolve them. That is all changing because the tsunami of love, which has been having an enormous effect on those of you who are consciously on a spiritual path has been inspiring and uplifting you to engage with it and by so doing share and extend its energy throughout all of humanity. This is the divine plan in action, and evidence of its inspiring presence can be seen in all parts of the world. Do not be misled by the mainstream media's almost constant focus on fear, and on their reports of threats of terrorism. Throughout humanity's long history on the planet there have always been fears, conflicts, and wars, and for those directly involved there has been much suffering, but those conflicts have always been instigated by those who would control and suppress you as they still are. 
Of course there are people who believe in the power of violence to bring them rewards, but they are in a very small minority. However, they have always noisily attempted to instill fear into their contemporaries and supporters in order to build fear-based organizations that they can use as a means of control to achieve their own selfish agendas by ensuring that governments do their bidding. This state of affairs is coming rapidly to an end. People in many parts of the world are now very much aware of the endemic corruption in high places and will no longer tolerate it. When support for these corrupt ones falls away, as it is now doing, they are quickly seen to be straw men, weak and fearful individuals who are utterly powerless without supporters and lackeys to do their bidding. Massive changes are underway as individuals reclaim the power that they had, in many cases unthinkingly, given away to so-called authorities that had been established with the sole purpose of protecting the few whose one aim is power and control over others. Many of you refer to those seemingly all-powerful ones as the dark cabal. Dark and hidden they may well have been, but not any longer. Their influence and notorious agendas are being disclosed with, for them, alarming speed, and in that disclosure lies their inevitable downfall. Truly, the news is good as 2015 approaches, so continue holding your brilliant light on high as you demonstrate love in action. Visit your holy inner sanctuaries at least once daily and re-empower yourselves with the love that is your core, your center, so that not only you, but also all with whom you interact each day are uplifted and inspired as you move forwards towards your assured awakening. With so very much love, Saul.